Gracias, José María. And now the next uh, speaker on our list is uh, Mr. Nicolaos Papas from Greece. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, well, I must admit that I have been quite surprised to hear a number of panelists putting questions on the effectiveness of the rules that we have set up. So in the outbreak of uh, the COVID-19 crisis, we decided that limiting government spending to the existing rules would put in danger our growth uh, prospects. And this was practically a declaration that sticking to the existing rules during the times of crisis does not work. This is a common ground. So the question is, are we going to stick to rules that do not work during crisis and practically agreeing that we will break those rules when the next crisis knocks on our door? Or we should set up rules that are resilient and work even during the times of crisis? Are we going to engage in policies that safeguard societies and uphold economies during the times of crisis? Or we will impose policies that leave economies and societies exposed and defenseless when a new crisis knocks on our door? Should we stick to the idea that if each one of us, if each country of the euro cleans its own yard, the union will be fine? Did that idea work during the previous decade? It didn't work, so we should leave it behind. So what I would like to contribute that is that we should move forward with deepening the union towards federal solutions, towards a federation. There are no national solutions to international problems. There is no strategic autonomy of Europe that our world needs so much without deepening the union, without taking steps towards a federal future. Progressive, collective, and fair solutions should be our answer, our common future. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Pappas. Now the next uh, speaker is Anneli Ackermann from Estonia. Anneli, have the floor. 